it is guys, your boy Blastmas HD. As you guys well know, uh, I've been gaining a little bit of popularity lately, mainly due to my crazy real life stories called BHD Story Times. The other day, I sat down and I wrote out a list of how many BHD Story Times I have within like the span of like 30 minutes. And I ended up coming up with over a hundred and freaking 20. I have a lot of crazy shit happen to me. And I have a lot of fucking crazy stories to tell you guys. And I thought now that I'm starting to get noticed a little bit more, I've been getting the I've been getting the question: How does so much crazy shit happen to me? And why is my life so crazy interesting or or whatever? I thought it'd only be fair to tell you guys to tell you guys why. And just a little heads up, you know, uh, my BSG story times are. Probably, got, I've decided to tell you guys a lot of the stories that I said when I first started doing YouTube videos, I would never tell anyone. I decided basically that I might as well be 100% completely truthful with you guys. You know, like like, like I said, um, I've been getting the question a lot lately. Why are my stories so crazy? And why do I have so many of them? And given I have so many of them, I figured I should tell you guys why. Well, it's no secret that... I live in the ghetto. Still. I still freaking live in the ghetto. And mind you, this is going to be a, a draw of my life because I plan on doing one of those uh, a little bit later on in the future. Now, I live in bad areas. I live in really bad areas. Right now, I still live in bad areas, but it's not as nowhere near as bad as where I used to live. But growing up, from the age of 10 on up, I've always lived in really, really poor, crime-ridden, and desolate areas. Just really, really bad areas. When I was younger, we never had any money. Like, I was poor. My family was poor as all shit when I was growing up. I'm talking about not having no electricity. I mean, we always had food, but, you know, sometimes the lights would be turned off and shit. You know, shit happens. And when I was growing up, my mom never wanted me inside, never wanted any, like, any of the kids inside the house. When I was younger... If you a kid, get the fuck outside and go play. You know, there was no staying in the house. And it's with the injury, the internet wasn't really that big and there wasn't really that much shit to, you know, do on the internet. So no one ever was inside the house any goddamn way. And all my friends were freaking assholes. We were all a bunch of badass freaking kids. Now, be it we had no money and basically no video games, all there was to do was to go around and to find ways to entertain your motherfucking self. How the hell does one entertain himself, especially when he's a kid? Go in and get into a whole bunch of stupid shit. Now, mind you, living in poor areas, the thing about poor, desolate, ghetto areas with crime in them is there's always some shit popping off. Always. Motherfuckers always trying to rob somebody. Someone's always getting shot. Someone's always getting beat the fuck up or jumped. Someone's always stealing someone's weed. Someone's always boning someone's girl or their man or getting caught cheating. I think it has something to do with the fact that no one, like, no one has any jobs. And all most people do is just sit around and drink and smoke and freaking bullshit all day. And are bored. Me, I'm an adrenaline junkie. I have serious attention deficit disorder off up in this bitch i'm hyperactive as fuck what's really messed up is when i'm doing my let's plays as crazy and over the top as i act that's how the fuck i act if you go back and you will watch my first let's play which got picked up by smosh which is why my channel grew so fast smosh saw my very first let's play ever and they put that bitch on their channel. Like, they shouted that bitch out. They tweeted. Freaking came and commented on the video. Every fucking thing. Thank you, Lasercorn. You know, that guy's fucking awesome. I've always been like that. And that was my very first fucking Let's Play. And that's like my most popular one. Because the way I act when I'm on camera, that's how I really am. <laughs> that's how I really am. With my friends. You know, all of that shit. That's just genuinely who I am. Because I'm hyperactive as fuck. Add insult to injury, I love fucking adventure. Oh my god. I can't wait to tell you guys the fucking story times of me going snowboarding with a bunch of my friends and hiking into the fucking snow ridden forest and shit. Those <laughs> fucking dumbasses. So, but yeah, man, you know? So, me having such a fucking thirst for adventure and being numbed to the consequences of seeking out adventure that puts me in a lot of fucked up situations like if you guys 
really go back when I got jumped uh, like a month ago in the Bally's parking lot where I, sh I did the video and I recorded the shit where I was running around screaming world star like a fucking dumbass the only it was completely and a hundred percent my fault why I those three guys tried to jump me my cars on the third floor I was on the third floor getting ready to get into my car I heard people screaming and freaking fighting I took out my camera phone and I went down to the first floor where they all were and started recording those motherfuckers. I have, I just have a fucking, I have a huge thirst for fucking adventure. Be it that man, be it, I'm used to a whole lot worse stuff than just possibly being jumped by three random dudes in a freaking parking lot. You guys are gonna hear about that in the future story times. I guess it's lucky you guys met me because if you guys were entertaining crazy ass freaking stories from someone who is too stupid to not run away from the fucking dangerous stupid shit when it happens. Y'all motherfuckers have come to the right place then. Welcome. <laughs> oh man, I have some fucking crazy stories to tell you guys, man. Actually, if you guys have stuck around to the end of this video, BHD Storytime name is going to mean interesting, crazy, fucking hilariously embarrassing, some crazy shit like that. But I'm starting another series for stories of other semi-crazy shit that's happened to me, but not worthy of the BHD Storytime name, if you feel me. Stuff like nerds trying to rob my ass for my Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I've had that happen to me. Uh, what's really messed up is I used to play Yu-Gi-Oh cards for a living. Uh, when I was like 16, 17 and shit, and I was really, really, really fucking good. And if you were far better than me at Yu-Gi-Oh cards, I would just cheat, and I would still fucking beat you. But I would have times where like people would try to not give me their fucking Yu-Gi-Oh cards, and I would have to out-black them. Like <laughs> it was hilarious. But yeah, I'm, I'm gonna save though. I'm gonna save that type of stuff for the uh, for the not for. Uh, for a different segment but uh with that man you know this has just been somewhat of a crazy type update so uh with that man you know uh see you guys later man bhd out